Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, or LLS, and Just Like You Films want you to meet some kids that have a lot in common with you. They like and do the same things you do. In fact, they're just like you. My name is Brennan. I love to go to the movies. My name is Hope. Tennis is my favorite sport. My name is Carrie. I love to shop with my friends. We're kids, just like you. Just like you. Just like you. But I have cancer. But I have cancer. But I had cancer. I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma. I was diagnosed with ALL pH positive. These kids are fighting a disease called cancer. What is cancer? Well, there are many types of cancer, but all types of cancer have to do with one thing, the cells that make up our bodies. There are billions of cells that make up each person's body. Healthy cells grow and divide, but they know when to stop growing. Cancerous cells grow and divide too, but they grow too fast and divide out of control. Cancerous cells don't know when to stop growing. Cancer is basically a cell that goes wrong and makes other cells do the same thing, which are cancer cells, and they multiply at a very rapid rate. Cancer cells may clump together to form tumors. Tumors become so out of control that they destroy the normal cells around them. And this can make someone very sick. How I would describe cancer is being sick for a very long time, like having the flu. Leukemia is a type of cancer that affects the cells of our body that make up our blood. And when someone has leukemia, the white cells that help fight bacteria and viruses in our body grow out of control, and so they can no longer do a good job protecting our body. When you have leukemia, your white cells don't work right, so it's easier for you to get sick. As scary as all this sounds, kids can defeat cancer and go on to live healthy, normal lives. And while they're fighting cancer, kids can still do a lot of the same things that you do. Kids with cancer still want to play and hang out and go to school, just like you. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society needs kids just like you to help support research for treatments that will save the lives of kids just like you. Please join us. I am just Good morning, Huskies. Today is Thursday, March 7th. I'm Alexia. And I'm Renicia. Recognizing our annual Leukemia and Lymphoma Pennies for Patients campaign, please stand for our nation's pledge. Our Pennies for Patients fundraiser is on its second week, Huskies. School-wide, we have currently raised $2,800. Remember, our goal is $10,000 and we still have two more weeks to go. In order for us to succeed, it will take a little help from each and every one of you here at Hillsdale. So please continue to bring in any spare change you may have and donate online to our your English your teacher's page by accessing the search button on the left side of our donation page. Hey Chris, it's if each of us were to donate at least $6.50, we will actually pass our goal of $10,000. Remember, there will be a pizza party for everyone who gets at least $250 donated. The class that donates the most will win a pasta party from Olive Garden. The top 10 school-wide fundraising students will be able to tape, Ms. tape Mrs. Ewing to a pool in the lunch area, and each top grade level fundraising student will get to toss a pie in the face of a teacher from their grade or team. However, this is not about what you will be getting for donating. It is about what you are doing to help save lives. So look around the house for spare change to bring it in. Send our link to friends and families and post our fundraising campaign on as many social media accounts that you can. 
It only takes 10 seconds of your time to get involved and help in this fight. Test your chopstick abilities at tomorrow's Friday activity. Challenge your friend by placing food to another bowl by using chopsticks. The first to put five in the other bowl wins candy. In February, we celebrated Kindness Month, but it doesn't stop there, Huskies. Come on down to the front office and write a letter to someone you admire, telling them about all their kind deeds and thanking them. It can be a staff member or a fellow student. There will be an example of letters and pictures in the grade level Google Classroom. We will recognize these people on our Plus blog, on the broadcast, and or in person. Help promote kindness throughout the school year, Huskies, and fill out a kindness slip in the school office. Kindness matters. Boys and girls that are interested in playing water polo, please see Mr. Kruger in room 402 for a flyer. Practices start March 11th at Valhalla High School. No experience necessary. Before we head off, we would like to wish Miss Russo a happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Now let's head over to our special guest. Good morning, Huskies. Mr. Stevens here. As you heard our broadcasters talk about, they mentioned that last month was Kindness Month. And I just want to talk about that a little bit because kindness is so important. And as we all know, we sometimes have bad days. And some of us have extremely bad days and are dealing with trauma that others might not even be able to comprehend. And it's amazing how much a little kindness can make a difference in somebody's life. And it's not that hard from the person giving the kindness, right? Whether it's like saying hi, smiling, how's it going, what's up, that sort of thing. Giving that kindness to another person can really help lift them up. And you never know, it might make a huge difference in that person's life. Maybe they're having a horrible day and that one smile they got from you or that one hello they got from you or hearing them, hear, them hearing you say their name and saying hi can make a big, big difference in their life. So just remember that something small from you can make a huge difference in somebody else's life. So kindness absolutely matters, and thanks for all of your kindness. Have a great day.